In 2022, I launched a brand new landscape construction company that did over $500,000 of revenue while working on it less than 15 hours a week and with no prior landscape construction experience, and this is exactly how I did it. This video is all about how I not only started that business, but how I used the GPP system, which I explained in the last four videos on my YouTube channel of exactly how I launched this, so that way you could repeat this in your business, either to launch a new company or transform your existing business because these principles work whether it's a new or an existing company. Before I get into the actual specifics of what I did, let me give you just a little bit of background about who I was at the time, why I did this, and why I only spent 15 hours a week working on this business. So before I actually launched this landscape construction company, I was a 50% owner of a concrete company that I still own to this day. But when I first started that business with my father-in-law back in 2018, we started from nothing. It was literally me, him, we had an old pickup truck, it was a 2002 Dodge Ram 1500, and that is all that we had. And after growing our business, we had so many errors. And the biggest thing that we struggled with when we very first began is pricing our projects. And the way that we did it is we used to call our competition, we used to ask to get estimates, and we just wanted to know what the price per square foot was, because that's what everyone was doing back then and what a lot of people are still doing today. So we got all the price per square foot. We felt pretty comfortable that we were going to be competitive with pricing. And then we actually went through and we started generating leads and selling the jobs at the price per square foot. Well, lo and behold, it actually worked or we thought it was working. And that's the crazy part. We get all the way to the end of year one. We were busy the whole entire year and I was living my dream, or at least I thought I was. I was busy. I had my own company. We were doing a lot of projects but we got all the way to the end of the year and I realized that I had no money left inside the bank. And at the very end of the year, I was like, well, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, you know, it's our first year. We bought a lot of tools. We bought a lot of equipment. Like no wonder we didn't make profit next year. I just have to grow a little bit bigger, you know, bring on some more employees, do even more revenue. And all of a sudden I'm going to have money in the bank. So fast forward, we go all the way through year two. And at the end of year two, we did over a million dollars of revenue. And it sounds great. And I remember this very vividly. I was at Christmas dinner and my family was asking me, they're like, oh my God, yeah, it's so exciting. Tell us about your business. And I didn't want to tell them what was actually going on inside my head, which is panic, freak out everything because we had no money again. But I would tell them, oh, it's going good. We did a million dollars of revenue and everyone would cheer and congratulate. But little did they know on the inside, I was panicked because I had no idea where all the money was going. Even though that we were doing over a million dollars in revenue, I was pricing the same as my competition and we were working our butts off. I had no idea why we weren't generating money. And so at that point, I had to decide whether it was time to quit and go back to working for someone else, which would have, which would have felt terrible. And I absolutely did not want to do at all, like at all costs. I really, really did not want to do that. But at the same time, I didn't want to work 80 hours a week, not really make any money, be stressed all the time. And I knew that I couldn't do that forever. So I knew that I had to change something. That's when I discovered the GPP system, which is all about what I used to start this brand new landscape construction company. The GPP system is a brand new way to estimate jobs, plan for your numbers, and sell the actual jobs. So that way you can actually backtrack and get your business profitable from the very beginning. So lo and behold, we introduced that into my concrete company. We then not only grew the company, but for the first time ever, we were actually making money. And so fast forward 2022, we did four years in business at that point, and I was finally making money. But I had this really weird thing in the back of my head, and this isn't something that I'm proud of or that I think is good, but I was thinking at the very end of the year, is the business successful because of me? Because I was more of the sales, marketing, you know, back into the business. Or was it successful because of my father-in-law? Because he knew everything about concrete. I would not be able to complete jobs if it wasn't for him. And he wouldn't know how to sell and get jobs if it wasn't for me. So we made a perfect combo. But I had a little bit of an ego thing because I wasn't sure if we were successful because of him or me. I was like, well, the GPP system that I learned, is it possible that it's that powerful that I could take a brand new construction company that's completely unrelated to anything that I've ever sold, built, or anything like that before, and start it from scratch and make money using the system. And that's what this video is all about, is I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I did 
what the steps were, and how I actually got the results that I did. So step number one, what I did very, very first is I built an actual business plan using the GPP system spreadsheet. So let me show you a little bit on my screen of what I'm actually doing. So what I went through and did first is I planned out all of my overhead expenses. So I'm not gonna spend any time, that's what the rest of the videos in the video series were for, but I went through and planned all of my overhead expenses for the year as far as everything that I would need to run a company. Then I went through and I said, okay, well, it's not just about what I need to buy, but who do I need to run a business if I have very limited time? And for me, all I needed was a project manager that was gonna spend half the time doing admin and sales and the other half of the time being on the crew. So that's what I went through and did, is I budgeted the actual project manager for half the time. Then I went through, I added the depreciation for a truck that I was gonna buy, a dump trailer, a skid steer. I went through and I programmed in roughly, let's just say here, I'm just gonna change this really fast, what I thought I would need as far as labor. I figured, well, if I have my project manager working half time on the office and sales stuff, and I have two other people in the crew that are working on the crew with productive labor hours, then I was gonna have a successful business. And then I went through and I was like, well, you know, at first I was like, you know, I probably only have to charge like 75 bucks an hour, this, this, and that. But let me show you guys the beauty of having systems like this is at first this looks good. I said, oh, wow, that's cool, right? If I have a half a project manager, I have my equipment, all that stuff, I'm gonna be able to do $479,000 a year in revenue and not have to work that hard. But then I scrolled all the way down to the bottom, which I'm showing you guys right now, and bang, just like that, we're losing $80,000 in this business model, but this is how easy it is to make adjustments. I said, okay, well, maybe I have to learn how to sell projects a little bit higher priced. Is that my problem? Then I go back, okay, at this point, I went from losing 80,000 to losing 10,000. That obviously still isn't gonna work. And then so what do I need to do from there is I had to go to my actual workforce. I went through and I put in another person. So instead of having two people on the crew, I now have three. And then what that does, that allows me to get projects done faster, sell more jobs. So instead of the $479,000 of revenue, I was into $767,000 of revenue. And I was gonna make $77,000 of net profit. And so I went through, and obviously I just did that super fast for you guys here on YouTube, but I went through, spent a lot of time and really thought about my actual business model. And not the business model like what they tell you, tell you in school where it's like all the stupid factors, like, oh, is there an actual market? Like, of course there is. Every market needs landscape construction and concrete, et cetera. But what more matters is what do you plan on spending? How much do you need to sell? And at what price point do you need to sell that for in order for you as the business owner to actually make money? So I know I just did this for you really fast, but if you wanna learn this a lot more in detail, make sure you go back to the previous video where I went all over the spreadsheet, which was video number three of this five part video series. All right, step number two is once I had my business model built and I knew how much money that I had to spend and invest, I budgeted it to spend a lot of money on advertising and marketing. So I actually spent about $14,000 on a really nice website nice logo. Basically, I wanted to look legit from day one. Where most contractors go wrong is they start out with a really basic website and then they get all the cheapest customers because their website makes them look, look cheap. I overspent on what a website is and I made me look way more legit than what I was, which in reality was a business that didn't even have any work done at that time. But I wanted to appeal to people who wanted high-end projects done to at least give them the vote of confidence. And I had the confidence on the back end that I knew if I sold it, then I can get the job done. So step number two was all about getting the branding and a really good website built. Number three is once I had the website, I just had to turn on ads. So what I was doing is I was running Facebook ads to my website and generating leads. And because I knew exactly from the GPP system and from the spreadsheet exactly what I knew I needed to charge, I actually started selling jobs. This was during the winter of 2022, and we can't do landscape construction jobs in Colorado until about April anyways. So I started running ads in about February. I sold about three projects and I booked them out for the very beginning of April. So at this point, I'd already have a website, I have a business model, and I even have jobs on the schedule. And a lot of you are probably freaking out like, well, Tyler, you don't even know how to do the work. You don't have any of that stuff, and that is right. So I'm gonna show you that in the next steps. Now fast forward all the way until about two weeks before I actually do my first project. At that point, then I was like, okay, my first project's coming up. I have about two weeks to prepare. So what did I do? I actually went around, I literally drove all throughout my area. 
I went from job site to job site and I was passing out business cards. And while I was passing out business cards, I wasn't passing them out to potential customers because I already had jobs lined up. I was actually passing them out to foremen of other landscape construction companies. And I was like, hey, I'm Tyler. You know, I'm, uh, I have this landscape construction company. We have a lot of work coming up. Um, I wanted to see if you're interested in a different type of role, basically in different employment. And I had it budgeted. If you'll notice, we can go back and look on the spreadsheet. I was budgeting to pay my foreman $35 an hour, which I knew was well above market value for most of my competitors, what they're willing to pay. But I already budgeted for it, so I knew I had it. And because of that, I was able to get a foreman that knew everything about landscape construction. He had been doing it for 20 years. He was the exact type of person that I needed. So first I went through and hired him. And then I hired the laborers that were gonna help him. And then I had a crew. So a lot of people do this different. They learn the skill and do everything themselves. Then they go do it and then they build the website over time and all that. I did it the complete opposite way, but because I knew it would work and let me go to the next step. Step number five is I finally then bought the equipment. This was only about three days before we were supposed to start our first job. All I had was I had my foreman. He was already on payroll. I was already paying him. And I had the two laborers basically signed up, ready to go to start the very first job. I paid my foreman and I said, hey, you know landscape, landscape construction, I don't. What equipment and what tools do I need in order to start my business? We loaded it up in my truck together. We drove around. We went to all the different landscape supply houses. I opened up accounts and I said, okay, what tools do we need? I bought about $10,000 worth of tools, small equipment, et cetera. And lo and behold, that was it. We had a company. I had the person that knew how to get the work done. I knew the price point at which to sell the work. I knew how many people I had to employ. I know how fast we had to do work and all the pieces of the puzzle were in place. And now it was just time to execute. And don't get me wrong. I went through 2022 and there was some times where we <laughs> had not good scenarios at all. And a lot of that was just due to my lack of experience in landscape construction. And I knew we'd get through it. But the crazy part is I thought, okay, if I'm budgeting to make $70,000, the very worst case is I go through the first year, I'm only spending about 10 to 15 hours a week on this company. And even if I break even, I'm gonna learn everything that I need to about the actual industry. So that way for year two, I'm gonna be profitable. But the crazy part is because I was budgeting correctly, because I was tracking numbers, because I was giving my projected hours to my foreman when they would start a job site, like, hey, we only have about three days to finish this job because that's how I bid it and everything actually worked out and all of our customers were happy and even though we looked really legit on the outside and we weren't none of our customers actually knew that because all the systems and the processes were implemented from day one and so that was basically it we went all the way through the year i kept tracking hours we were making adjustments i was learning landscape as i was going and the cool part is instead of like when i first started my concrete business I went all the way through the end of year one. I didn't have to work very much on it and I actually made a net income. And the whole point of this video is not only to show you the steps, but really what I want you to understand is the power of the GPP system, knowing your numbers, putting a proper plan together, knowing exactly how many people you have to have on the job and at what price point to sell them, and then knowing the actual metrics to track in order to have a successful company. So with that being said, that is just an introduction to the GPP system. This was kind of a case study of how it works. If you're interested in learning more about it, make sure you click the link down below in the description. And I go into each one of these buckets way more in detail in a free course that I have. And I'll also show you how, if you want me to help you implement this one-on-one, -on -one, there's a way for us to do that as well. So click the link down below in the description and I will see you there.